Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Flatbed Auto Low product trailer beta. File size is 2.32 megabytes. Today's mod is going to be tested out on the Ricci Hollow map. What I'm going to do is explain a few things regarding this mod. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I will explain a few things and show you just how this works. So let's take a look. Okay folks, now that we got a few things set up, once again this is the flatbed 51 foot auto load product trailer beta. Fall size for this is 2.32 megabytes. Price in the shop to purchase is 56,000 as is with a zero dollar day maintenance fee. Now the capacity will hold 20 pallets, but it holds a lot more than that. Actually, we'll come back to that in a second. As far as shop location, it's located under vehicles and then under Ricci Hollow. They actually have their own little category there. So going back to capacity, this will hold 20 pallets, bales, both round and square, a multitude of sizes. This also works for the Straw Harvest DLC, lumber pallets, egg boxes, cotton modules, round cotton bales, rowboats, and probably a few other things there too. So the cool thing that they did with this is they actually added a trailer hitch so you can road train these together, meaning if you buy dollies from the shop, you can hook as many of these together as you want. So I'm going to go over some added notes here. Like I said, you can attach multiple trailers to make a road train. Also, if you're already playing this map, don't forget to delete the 51 foot easy auto load trailer from your folder before you download this. This also works for the Straw Harvest DLC. Now, one thing I noticed in here that it's been happening for a while and hopefully they can fix it. There's a save error when it comes to this. Whenever the game auto saves or you save the game, when you come back to your trailer, everything's going to be loose on it. So you're going to have to auto load it back on again. I don't know why it does that with the save game, but that's something I thought I'd point out anyway. And also, you will need an account over on Papa Smurf's website to be able to download this mod, if you haven't done so already. So let's take a quick look around at it here before we go over to the shop. You can see it's just a regular flatbed, but he has added a hitch to the back, so you can road train these together. So each one of these you carry, you can carry 20 pallets. So this works for a multitude of things. So let's go over to the shop. Like I said, it got its own little category under vehicles. Just click on that. We'll come over a little bit and there it is beta test 2 the lizard flat deck 56,000 in the shop you can change the wheel setup and also you can change your rim color you get the balloon tires too so let's go ahead and we'll hook up to it and we'll test out some lights okay so we got brake lights and reverse lights very nice let's try the signal lights work just great hazards very good Okay guys, I'm going to show you an easier way to hook these up because if you do it the way I was doing it before, you're going to have an awful time. So when you go to connect the dolly with these, I'll show you where the dollies are located by the way. It's under tools, come all the way over to the right and there's your dollies right there. And there's your cramp dolly. So you'll have to put one of these in between each trailer. Normally you'd grab your flatbed, then you'd back it up to your dolly attached to that and then try to back the whole thing in to your next flatbed trailer that is very difficult i'll show you an easier way to go about this what i do is leave a tractor at the shop or something you with a ball hitch you can attach to the dolly hook up to that and then hook this directly up to one of your flatbed trailers and this is going to save you a heck of a lot because it's so hard to back up this once you're attached, do it already. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to go back and we're going to detach from the whole thing. So that dolly is set up. Now all I have to do is back in that flatbed to that and I'm ready to go. Instead of backing up the whole thing because that dolly is going to be all over the place, guys. Okay, we're going to jump back in our Mac here. And we're going to back it on up to grab our dolly there. There we go. And there, we're all attached. Now you'll notice up in the top left hand corner, you'll see my tractor, and then you'll see three implements behind there. I'm only carrying two trailers, but what happens is in between each one is your dolly. After the tractor is the first flatbed, then that's the dolly, then that's the second flatbed. So keep that in mind. Once you bring up your menu here, you can press the Z key to change whatever product you're going to be loading up. There's your 20 regular pallets. We have large square bales, the straw add-on square bales, small square bales, 1.1 meter round bales, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.55, all kinds of different sizes, 1.8, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 
Then we have our admission pallets, lumber pallets, egg boxes, cotton modules, round cotton bales, Husting big bales, not sure what that is, uh, pellet pallets, long pallets, then you got your rowboat pallets. Now this trailer is going to really come in handy on the Reachyville and Reachy Hollow map. That's what it's basically going to be used for. So let's take this guy on over and we'll start filling him up. Okay guys, so we're coming up on Bill's boats here. What I want to do is press my G key to get back to my first trailer. Then I'm going to press the Z key or the Z key until it says rowboats. So that's set to my first trailer. Then I'm going to press the U key to activate the auto load. So what I'm going to do here is drive on right down into the water here. This is where you're going to pick up your rowboats. You can see the surfboards being made there too. But we're not picking them up. We're picking up rowboats. So let's get them on. Two, four, six, eight. Holds eight rowboats. Cotton modules, it holds three. 20 pallets. You know what I mean? The capacity is going to be different depending on what you're carrying. So let's fill up our second trailer. Okay guys, we're going to go across the street and pick up some of those tobacco modules. So what I want to do is jump back to my last trailer. Remember that in between one is the dolly, this here. Go back another one. Once you're on it, go ahead and press the uh, Z key to find our modules. Cotton modules, same thing. So we'll go ahead and turn our auto load on with the U key and we'll be able to pick up three of these. One, two, three. And like I said, you can attach as many of these together. You're going to have to watch it though because the longer it is, the harder it's going to be to uh, transport this across the map. So let's go ahead and sell this stuff. Okay folks, we're coming up on Mary's Beach Bonanza where we're going to be selling these rural boats. So to unload, what you're going to do, once you get a full load, you're going to press the B key to pick a side. You can see it on the left there, then on the right. What you do once you pick a side is press the Y key to unload. So just keep that in mind. So we'll come on over here to Mary's Beach Bonanza and sell our rowboats. Just make sure you get the right trailer selected. Okay, so let's pick that side with the B key and then once you're ready to drop them press the Y key there you go 40,000 for that for eight little rowboats five thousand dollars a piece very nice so that's how you unload this trailer so just to show you guys we have some rowboats down here we have 17 pallets of bicycles we have some stoves and some barbecues. There's meat from our slaughterhouse. There's tobacco bales and there's surfboards. So you can see it holds 20 regular pallets or three cotton modules, eight boats. It depends what you're loading, right? So I thought I'd just give you a heads up there, show you guys how that works. And now that you can road train them together, it's going to come in very, very handy. So don't forget guys, you will have to make an account to download this from Papa Smurf's site. So there you have it folks. That was the flatbed 51 foot auto load product trailer beta. Fall size for that was 2.32 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description guys. Thank you so much for watching today's review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did maybe you can hit the like button down below and if you're new to the channel why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen then hit the subscribe button and the bell and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to the channel. It really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.